What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I'm going to be ranking all the LEGO Star Wars, the Clone Wars sets that have Anakin Skywalker in them. I thought this would be like an interesting list, like instead of just ranking like uh, LEGO Clone Wars sets by years, I thought it would be interesting by ranking all the LEGO Star Wars sets that have Anakin Skywalker in them. And there are a total of 10 sets now, this is from 2008 to 2014, I'm not including the Anakin Jedi Starfighter from 2018. I just want to include the 20, 2008 to 2014 sets because like those are the sets that have the large eyed minifigures and to me those are like the golden age of Lego Star Wars Clone Wars sets. Like I personally like the large eyes. So um, and yeah there's 10 so I'm going to be ranking from my least favorite to my favorite. Alright starting at, at number 10 my least favorite Star Wars Clone Wars Lego set that has Anakin Skywalker in it. And some of you might agree with me on this, but it is actually the Sith Night Speeder from 2011. Uh, this is a good set. It has good minifigures. The all three are exclusive, but it's just the build is kind of not so good looking. Uh, it's not really a good looking speeder, to be honest. So that's why I have this at number 10, even though I still think it's a decent set. It's not terrible, but it's just not as good as the other sets that have Anakin in them. All right, number nine, I have the Freako Speeder. This is the only Clone Wars set that I have from this list, actually. Um, I did buy this set last year. It has Anakin and it has Thysen, so you get, just like the Sith Knight Speeder, you get exclusive minifigures in this set, because the Anakin, the Sith Knight Speeder was exclusive. The Anakin in this set as well is exclusive. He's in, he's wearing his parka. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, Parker, yeah. Um, and then Dyson is such a cool figure, you know, that molded head. And the speeder itself is pretty good. I do like it. This vehicle only appeared in one episode of The Clone Wars, but I do like the build. It has 177 pieces. Um, yeah, I do like it. I, I have built it, you know, because, you know, I do have the set. But the set lacks play features. There isn't really much play features. No flick missiles. The only play features is the opening cockpit, and you can open the storage bay and the back of the speeder there isn't much with playability but you do get a nice build still and two nice mini figures nonetheless especially that dyson figure and yeah this set is from 2010 by the way all right my number eight is probably most of yours least favorite but i think this set is not even that bad and it is the twilight from 2008 this set was so hated back then um I think it's a pretty good build. I do like the build. It has 882 pieces. That's a lot. And it has some nice play features. I like how you can fit all the characters in the Twilight. This set has no exclusive minifigures. Unlike the other two sets that I mentioned had exclusive minifigures. This set has no exclusive figures. But the build is still decent. Obviously, it's not the best one. That's why I have it at number 8. But I still like the build. It's not even a bad set. It's got some nice play features. It, the, the Twilight was a vehicle that appeared first in the Clone Wars movie, and we did see it in the show as well, but it's like one of the most uh, forgotten LEGO Star Wars Clone Wars sets, unfortunately. All right, my number seven is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, the first ever LEGO Clone Wars set that was released, and this set was released in January of 2008. I really like Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I like the build. It's not my favorite Delta Seven uh, vehicle. I like Plo Koon's one more, actually, even though this... That set's not going to be on this list, but I like that one more. Uh, this one I really like because you get that really fun play feature where you can eject R2 from his um, from his little area, from his uh, spot, basically. Uh, the Plo Koon one had the, uh, the Plo Koon ejection play feature. Uh, yeah, I like the Anakin Jedi Starfighter build still. Uh, it's pretty nice. It has 153 pieces. Uh, yeah. Most of you probably don't even care about this set. I actually do like this set a lot. Uh, yeah, so Anakin Jedi Starfighter is my number seven. It's what started the Clone Wars Lego wave. All right, number six is another set that people don't really like much, just based on the videos I've watched by like m &R Productions and Five Lonely Clones. I saw that ranking video. They had this set quite low, but I, I would have this set quite high if I ranked every Clone Wars set, and that is the T6 Shuttle. The T6 shuttle is such an underrated set. Like, this set is so good. You get four Jedi minifigures in one set. That's a lot of Jedis in one set. And two of them were new at the time, Sas A10 and uh, Shock T. Plus you get, of course, Anakin, because, you know, this list is the set with Anakin. 
and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the set. This is the only Clone Wars set with Anakin and Obi-Wan in the same set. And the ship is so cool. I love the wings that, you know, you can rotate the entire thing, the entire wing part. That's such a cool play feature. Uh, the colors are great. I think this is this version is actually so much better than the Ahsoka one. I actually don't like the Ahsoka one at all that came out last year. But yeah, I really like the T6 shuttle a lot. It's a pretty underrated set. It's from 2011. So like this and the Sith Knight Speeder were from 2011 as far as the sets with Anakin. All right, my number five, now we're moving on to the top five, is the 2012 Malevolence. The Malevolence is a pretty good ship. Uh, the reason it's not like that high because obviously I'm more into Lego Star Wars uh, vehicles that are like with uh, that are scaled with the minifigures. Obviously, this isn't scaled at all with the minifigures. This is a lot smaller, and the interior isn't there isn't much for the interior. But I still like this set because you get some nice figures with Count Dooku and General Grievous, and I also like that play feature where you can basically uh, make the flick missiles. Uh, uh, automatically get flicked on their own with that Technic piece. The ship does look nice, and you know, the vehicle only appeared in, I think, the first, like, season, first few episodes. Yeah, overall, it's still, still a pretty good set, but I just don't have it that high for the reasons I said. Okay, number four, I have the 2014 Coruscant Police Gunship. This set is amazing. I love this set. Uh, the Anakin in the set is exclusive, that version. Uh, it, it's not got to do with the minifigures, it's the build that is so good, and the build is so unique. I love it. I like that cockpit, that large trans red piece, and the ship just looks really nice. It's great. It's a great looking ship, you know, from Coruscant. Yeah, that's all I got to say about it. It's a really good set. All right, my number three is Anakin's Y-Wing Starfighter from 2009. This set is just amazing. I don't like Y-Wings, I don't like the original trilogy Y-Wings, but I love the Clone Wars Anakin's Y-Wing. This is just such a cool Y-Wing in my opinion. I love that torpedo play feature where if you move R2, if you move R2's head, then the torpedo gets, uh, you know, then you can just launch the torpedo. And the build is just so good looking. I love the yellow and white, you know, Anakin always seems to get yellow, uh, uh, ships, you know, because even his starfighter is yellow. But yeah, I love the 2009 Anakin's Y-Wing starfighter. I think it's a great build. Alright, let's move on to number two. My number two is a set that I used to not really care about much, but as I've, like, seen the set more, I, I, I respect the set. I think it's such a good set. And my number two is the 2010 clone turbo tank. This is such a cool vehicle. You know, it's such a, you know, this set, minifigure selection probably isn't the greatest, but I love the vehicle. I think this is the best clone turbo tank they've made. It's so, like, well-finished looking. I love how, uh, how much, like, you know, interior space there is. You know, there's a lot of storage areas. I love those large wheels. I mean, this is just such a cool set. This has got to be my number two. And my number one is, no doubt, the 2008 ATTE Walker. Yeah, the 2008 ATT Walker is such a great build. It's it's actually quite large, and I love those hidden torpedoes in the build. Love that. Man, everything about the 2008 ATT is so good. It's easily my favorite Clone Wars. Well, not my favorite Clone Wars set, but it's definitely in my top five favorite Clone Wars sets. I love the ATT a lot. It's just such a good build. Yeah, I love that 2008 one. So yeah, that's my ranking with all... Of all the Lego Star Wars Clone Wars sets that have, that have Anakin in them. Now, Anakin has four different versions. So you get the main version that appears in seven sets. The one in the Freakus Spader is exclusive because obviously he's wearing like the parka. Similar to what Han wears. The one in the Sith Knight Spader as well is exclusive for his torso printing. And the one in the Coruscant Police Gunship as well is exclusive. That one is actually different from the one from the Sith Knight Spader. Other than that, the Anakin from the Jedi Starfighter, Y-Wing, Malevolence, Clone Turbo Tank, Twilight, ATT, T-6 Shuttle, all of those Anakin Skywars are the same. So yeah, that's my ranking of all 10. Do you guys agree with my list? Uh, I'd like to know your opinion, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.